Hey there, I'm Kat and this is Bruise and Reviews. So I kind of thought I'd bring back mini vlogs because I had fun doing mini vlogs when I was on holiday and um, a readathon kind of seems like a perfect time to do it. So um, I am currently in the middle of the Get Graphic With It readathon, which is a graphic novel readathon. So I'm going to do some graphic novel reviews for you. <laughs> So the book I'm going to be talking about today is Fun Home by Alison Bechdel. Now you may recognise Alison Bechdel's name because she was the originator of the Bechdel test, um, which is basically how women are identified slash treated in uh, media, which is extremely interesting. A lot of films don't pass the Bechdel test, um, notably things like Lord of the Rings. Uh, there are three conditions for the Bechdel test, it's really interesting. Definitely look into it if you haven't. This this book is is not about the Bechdel test at all, at all. It's just what she is most well known for, I believe. Um, it feels a little bit weird trying to review something that is autobiographical, because it, it just feels wrong. <laughs> I'm not reviewing this person's life, I am just reviewing the specific things that I've read in this graphic novel. So it's a little bit unusual, because this graphic novel is basically about um, her younger life and it goes into uh, how she sort of discovered that she was a lesbian and how that sort of affected her home life but it also deals a lot with her relationship with her family and her relationship with her father in particular who um, was also gay but he was also married to a woman and it was like a secret gay thing without going into too much detail because obviously I don't want to spoil it if you do want to read it. The way that Bechdel relates to literature is extremely interesting and just it evolves in such an interesting way. Um, if you are looking for an LGBTQ uh, graphic novel, this is an interesting read. It is, as I said, autobiographical, so it is non-fiction and it does deal with some some harder things like potential for suicide and Fun Home actually stands for Funeral Home, um, which is the home, the funeral home that her family actually ran. At the beginning I was a little bit unsure because it could be kind of slow, but then towards the end I kind of felt how poignant it got and it was well worth reading. I actually really enjoyed it. As you see it is not the most of, uh, sorry I'm holding the slides because I have to, uh, it's not the most beautiful of graphic novels but also it's just really interesting. The black and white style kind of really fits with everything that she's talking about and I didn't know anything about Alison Bechdel so I found it really interesting to just sort of go into her backstory. Literally all I knew was about the Bechdel test and to actually have an insight into what sort of woman would come up with something like that and her history is is really interesting it's also her journey to sort of accepting herself and accepting that she is a lesbian and sort of how she came out it yeah it's it's a really interesting one i feel like i'm totally not doing it justice but it's really really difficult to review something autobiographical and uh yeah if you are interested in the slightest about uh alison bechdel definitely pick this one up so that's it for my review of Fun Home. If you're looking for an interesting novel with LGBT themes and a real life person who was actually really interesting, definitely check this one out. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.